Ladies and gentlemen, you join me, Ian Serling, here on the red carpet at the BAFTA Scotland Awards 2017 here in Glasgow. I'm here to meet all our nominees and guests for what's undoubtedly going to be a fantastic night. This is a great night, it's just fun. You're like a human glitter ball and I like it. It's the better of the award ceremonies. There's mere banter. I love coming to Scotland, I love coming to Glasgow and it's going to be a great night. I'm joined by Edith Bowman, who's hosting the whole thing. I tell you what, I've got a pair of pants, Edith, because I'm not a heathen. I feel like it's different to all the other war series. Why is that? I think it's because there's not really a sense of competitiveness in the room. It's more of a celebration. Scotland always punches above its weight. We produce great directors, actors, technicians. Presenters. Occasionally. Oh. It shows the world who we are. And BAFTA is so good at celebrating us and, and banging the drum. I think there's a lot of great Scottish stories to be told. Whenever you come here, you know you're in Scotland. You know you're among friends. I love the way we're being welcomed here. Magnificent. Man, you can expect that at BAFTA. Is there any shows or any individual performances that you'd like to see win tonight? Oh, uh, oh, I love the replacement. Martin Compton was amazing and in plain sight. So Marvin Christie is um, nominated for Best Actress for the replacement, so I would be quite happy if she won that. In fact, I'll be insulted if she doesn't. I think the judges must have had a really difficult job. I was lucky enough to be on a judging panel for Best Film Actor. I worship at the altar of T2, um, and um, I just it was just that way. It was just an excuse to watch the film again twice. It's a bit like saying, well, what do which do you prefer, a tangerine or a tennis racket? I like both, they both do different things. Yeah. That's a lot of anticipation. It could have gone horribly wrong, but it was brilliant. I think really Ewan McGregor should definitely win an award. Yeah. Uh, he's great, that boy. I was a huge fan of the Trainspotting movie. I'm sure everybody was. And it was such a risk to, to do a film that was such a you know cult, iconic movie. To, to go in for a second yeah. was like, it was a bold move and it really it came off, so yeah. Nominated for my film on the menopause which you know, is, is a strong category. Um, the other two films are brilliant, so we'll just have to wait and see. There are two special awards being given out tonight, and one there, of them- You are a clever cookie, uh, Edith. One of those is to a fellow Pfeiffer, which makes me even more prouder, uh, to Doug, who is one of the most brilliant craftsmen in what he does, and he's someone who got my nine-year-old into nature yeah. and watching all those programs. Very much looking forward to seeing Armando Nucci. I just interviewed him, I'm still buzzing. Oh, he's just absolute hero of mine. There are very few people who have done what he's done, which is to create, you know, radically new, fantastic comic characters, and creative words and uh, catchphrases and language that have uh, actually entered the culture. And yeah. Why do you think such a small country like Scotland produces such vast talent? I think we've just got the right attitude, the right determination. I think it's because it's cold. And we stay indoors and we watch stuff and we think and we write and uh, we cheer each other up with, our, our humour is fantastic. It was totally Scottish when I flew yeah. in today. I thought, look, it's looking good, Glasgow's looking good today. We have a great tradition of actually going to the movies. I mean, Glasgow was always a big movie town. You know, when I first started in this business in, you know, way back in uh, 1874. Strong year, actually, for a film, that. Yeah. The diversity and the, 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 the breadth and the, 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 the talent uh, is, is fantastic now. Yeah. Keen to hear the stories of all the successes we've had. There's so much happening in film and television and also video games. We are joined here by Angela Scanlon who is presenting an award and she's also my arch nemesis. I am, I know. You're going down Scanlon. So it's between us and Mrs Brown. Yeah, I no, think so. I think so. <laughs> I think Mrs Brown, the witch has it. You know what, I think she's a very good woman, isn't she? She is amazing, and her tights are to die for. Hazel's staring in the double in the face. No, it's not me. Um, our director, John McClaverty, a wonderful chap, is up for best director, and um, our Lisbon Lions documentary, Glasgow 67, yeah. uh, has been shortlisted. So regardless of what happens, we're very, very, and immensely proud to have been nominated at all. Yeah. Welcome to BAFTA Scotland. How does it feel to be back? Lovely. It, it never gets any warmer, does it? No. But you were away there, you just sign, sign autographs and stuff. We were, yeah, it, were, it wasn't any of my autographs, I was just signing <laughs> on behalf of everyone else that's here. But it was, you done mine for me. Yeah. Some yeah. yeah, well, we, I think we're quite similar in our colouring. 
I mean, I will take that every single... Can you say that again to camera? We are <laughs> quite similar. We look the same? We do. Yes, go on then. I, know, I, I almost got confused with the kilts and everything. Yeah. I was, I was like, yeah, so you, this might need a shave, though. I know. He's pointing at my sporing just in case she can't see in frame. <laughs> and the Scots are taking over this year. They really are. Me and Susan Calman are representing Scotland. It's going to be called Strictly McCum Dancing <laughs> next year. Strictly up the dancing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's Scottish not Scottish version. Strictly up the dancing. Okay. BBC Scotland, if you're watching. Go oh, for a brilliant. wee dram. A wee dram. A wee do, you know, dram. do you know what that is? No. He's a dirty English man. <laughs> right. Bagus. Well, Doug, I hope you have a whale of a time. Yeah? That's his tie. 